Tommy, you had an unusual journey into football. We read initially that you wanted to be a swimmer and not uh -huh. a footballer. Tell us more <laughs> about that. I don't want it to be a swimmer, <laughs> but uh, I have uh, two older sisters. Uh, they did swim, so I was supposed to do swim as, uh, as, as my sisters, but uh, I got injury to my chin here. So I couldn't try to do swim. So I just started to play football. I changed the plan to play football. You mentioned you injured your chin there. Is that the same story as when you were at your grandmother's house on a trip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. What happened there? Well, I was playing <laughs> uh, with a treadmill. And uh, yeah, but whenever I was, uh, I think just five or like that, I don't remember a lot, but she said like uh, I got injury and then I went to my grandmother. I said like uh, I got injured and uh, I went to hospital. During uh, the operation, I was saying always like I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember where. So yeah, she said like this. And then after that, you decided to play football. Yeah. Talk us through your journey in football from a young boy up to where we are today. How's it been? I started to play football when I was five years old, I think. I've contracted. Uh, with Avispa Fukuoka when I was 17 years old. And I played uh, two years there. And I moved to, I moved to Belgium. And I played uh, one year and a half there. And I moved to Italy. I played two years and then I'm here. Tell us about that move from Japan to Belgium, obviously leaving your home country. Uh -huh. How was that for you? Was you quite homesick? Was it difficult? Mm, no, I'm not. I was not because, uh, because you know, uh, to playing uh, in Europe was also my dream. And uh, when I was eight, 17, I played uh, against, uh, against England as a national team and we lost 1-5 uh, and uh, we couldn't anything so in that moment uh, I felt like I have to play abroad so yeah that's why I moved to Belgium so yeah I was happy to play in uh, Europe You've played football in Japan, in Belgium, yeah. in Italy, and now England. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different languages there. How hard has that been to move countries and learn new languages? Uh, when I was in Belgium, I used uh, English, uh, but uh, I need to study more, <laughs> I think. And uh, in Italy, I used uh, Italian. I studied with my teacher. I'm in Premier League now, so I need to learn English. Uh, it has to be better. Yeah. You speak it very well. <laughs> Moving from Belgium to Italy, how much of a step up was that for you playing in Syria? Uh -huh. For me, yeah, you know, in Belgium, football was like uh, individual football. But in Serie A, it was more tactical, so yeah, it was a big step for me. But uh, I'm a defender, so I wanted to learn how to, how to defend. And uh, I learned uh, a lot in Italy. Yeah, it was a good experience for me. You mentioned learning to defend in Italy. Was that your biggest takeaway from your time in the country? Or were there any other things that you learned in your time there? Actually, between Japan and Italy, it's not a big difference how to defend. But uh, between uh, Belgium 
and uh, Italy is uh, completely different because, as I said, uh, in Belgium we play individual always, but in Italy, like uh, more tactical, more we play as a team. So there's a big difference between Belgium and Italy. And finally, Tommy, how excited are you about the challenge now of playing in England? As I said, uh, I never imagined that uh, I could play as a player of Arsenal. And uh, yeah, to play to playing uh, in Premier League was also my big dream when I was young. I'm so excited and uh, I can't wait to, to play in the stadium. <laughs>